Plants vs. Zombies, one of the most popular mobile games of all time. It's no surprise lots of merchandise was made for it. One of the most popular types of merchandise made for the series were the plushes. The company responsible for most of the Plants vs. Zombies plushes are Linkson. Even though they are unofficial, they definitely made the most popular and recognizable plushes in the entire series. While most people know them for their first set of plushes that they made, they actually made many other sets of plushes like the one we will be looking at today. And now with all that said, welcome to a look at the Lynx and Plants vs. Zombies pillow set. Now before we look at the individual plushes, let's just look at some things about this set. This set had a very short production run, originally starting in 2010 and ending in 2012. Now since this set had such a short production run, all these plushes have become really rare in the following years. Every single plush in this set has about the same rarity, some are a little more rare than others, but it's about the same. Now if you want to find these plushes, the most likely places you'll find them are either eBay or Macari, and if you find these, they will probably sell for around 50 50 to 120 dollars and that's from the recent listings now before we get to the individual pillows all of these could have a chance of coming with a car strap on the back of it which should be latched to a car seat the reason linkson did this is unknown but we'll probably never get a definitive answer anyways so yeah with that out of the way let's get into the individual pillows in this set the first pillow in the set is pea shooter now all the pillows in the set were obviously meant to be used as pillows so none of them have stems or anything like that, it's usually just the head of them. And I think Linkson did a very good job doing this pea shooter head. It's obviously based off of the sprite in the first game, and when you compare it to that, it looks pretty good. Now one common thing in this set is that a lot of them have bootlegs made of them. The bootleg made of this pillow is a lot of limer than the official. And the bootleg has a weird shape to it. You see, on the Linkson version, it has a nice defined shape to it, but the bootleg, it just doesn't have that. Linkson did a very good job making all the details correct on this pillow. They even added this extra detail in the snout here, which I find really nice. I'm glad that they did this because it makes the pillow a lot more defined. Now for the rarity, it's one of the more common pillows in this set, but that doesn't mean that it's actually common in general. Over the past year, I've only seen two pop up on eBay and none on Macari or anywhere else. So yeah, even though it's one of the more common ones, it's only popped up twice in the past year, so uh, good luck getting it if you want it. Now let's move on to the next pillow. The next pillow we will be looking at is Sunflower, and Linkson actually made two different designs of the Sunflower. The first design of the Sunflower looks a lot more game accurate. The first design of the Sunflower pillow uses the exact same style as the Sunflower plush. Even the petals are the same exact material on the plush. It's basically if they just took off the stem of the Sunflower plush and just made it a lot bigger. While the second design of this pillow is a lot weirder. For some reason, Linkson decided to change the eyes and add highlights in them, which is very weird because this is not game accurate at all. They also changed the petals into a plush material instead of that material on the original sunflower plushes. I don't know why Linkson did this because the first design was perfect in basically every way. All Linkson did on the second design is just make it more complicated to make and to be honest with you, it looks worse. Now for the rarity of these pillows. The first design is a lot more common than the second design. I've seen the first design a handful of times, but the second design, I could barely even find any pictures of it. It seems that the first design of the sunflower pillow had a lot longer production line than the second design. And it makes sense that the second design is more obscure than the first, because all the second design is just a weird version of the sunflower head. If you want either of these, you're gonna have to have a lot of luck, because neither designs are common. I've only seen the first design of the sunflower pillow show up twice in the past year. Once on eBay and once on Macari, while the second design, I haven't even seen a singular listing of it. The first design of the sunflower pillow is around the same rarity as the pea shooter pillow. While the second design of the sunflower pillow is a lot more rare than the other two that we've already looked at. So yeah, good luck finding them if you want them, especially the second design. But yeah, let's move on to the next pillow in the set. Now the next pillow in the set I actually own. It's the only one in the set that I own and it's the Cherry Bomb pillow. I'm very glad that I got this when I could because it's the only listing I've seen in the past year of it. Now one of the first things that you notice is that there's only one head of the cherry which makes sense because Linkson was trying to make a pillow and it wouldn't make sense to have two cherries on a pillow. 
Now there actually is a few bad things about this pillow. The main problem is is that the leaf and the eyes are made out of felt which makes it get easily damaged over time. As you can tell here, mine is really pretty damaged and uh, yeah, it hasn't lasted too well over the years. But other than that, this pillow is actually pretty cool looking. This pillow is obviously based off of the cherry bomb plush and the big head. Another thing that I noticed about these pillows is that the car straps could get really bent out. The car strap on the pillow seems to be really stretched out and I've seen multiple pictures of it also on other pillows of this set. This is one of the more rare pillows in this set and it's not easy to find. But I gotta say it's one of my favorites in the set and I'm glad that I got it. But yeah, let's move on to the next pillow. This next pillow, there isn't much to say about it. As you can tell, it's just a big version of the walnut. I don't really understand why Linkson made this when they already had the extra large size of the walnut plush. It's basically the exact same thing, but with a car strap on the back of it sometimes. Even though this pillow is very simple, it's extremely rare too, and it's one of the rarest in the whole set. I have seen this pillow pop up zero times on eBay and Macari over the past year and even two years, I've never even seen it for sale. And there's even only one documented owner of this pillow just showing the rarity of it. Even pictures of this pillow is obscure and I had a hard time finding them for searching for this video. It makes sense that this pillow is extremely rare though. Due to a walnut being one of the more unpopular characters of the Plants vs. Zombies series, it makes sense that it probably undersold compared to others like Cherry Bomb or Pea Shooter. If you want this pillow, just look on eBay and Macari, but there's probably no chance of it even popping up there due to me not even seeing a listing for the past two years of it. Now let's move on to one of the coolest pillows in this set, Chomper. The Chomper pillow is one of the most detailed in the set. It's clear that this pillow was based off the first design of Chomper due to them having the exact same features on the head. I really like how Linkson detailed everything on this pillow from the plush. They obviously put a lot of work into this embroidery on the pillow. But even though about all these positive things about the plush, there is one negative about it. The zombie in the chomper's mouth is made out of felt, which is the same material as the cherry bomb's eyes and stem. Which means that this zombie collects a lot of dust and other stuff like that, which you wouldn't want on your plush. And with that, these pillows have become damaged over the years, so it's hard to find a mint condition one. As with the cherry bomb, I've only seen one of these pop up on eBay from the same seller where I got the cherry bomb from. So with that said, I would say it's around the same rarity as the cherry bomb, but I found a little more pictures of it, so maybe slightly more common than the cherry bomb, but that's about it. Now the next two pillows that we will be looking at in this set are some of the rarest, if not the rarest in the whole set. The next two pillows are the Sun Shroom and the Fume Shroom, and the reason why I'm putting them together is because they have like the equal amount of rarity and the mysteriousness behind them. For years on the wiki, there was only one picture of them that they could find. And for a while, that's all they had the proof the plush even existed. There was no other known images at the time or owners of the pillow. But over time, as people researched more, they found a few more pictures of these pillows over the years. But still, even with them looking a ton, there's still barely any photos of these plushes that exist. Now for the designs of these pillows, I really like them. At first glance, it might seem weird that they have big heads, but it makes sense because these were meant to be pillows and that's obviously where you would lay on them. There is one bad thing about them having huge heads though, and it's that over time it could obviously crush the bottom part of it. Which could lead to the bottom part being damaged, which is not good obviously. Now for the rarity of these pillows, I said that both of them were equal rarity, but I actually think the fume shroom is more rare due to that having no documented owners, and the sun shroom actually does have one documented owner. So since the sun shroom has one documented owner, I'm gonna have to say that the fume shroom is a little more rare than the sun shroom, but still, they're practically the same rarity either way. If you want these pillows, good luck finding them due to them having only one documented owner on the sun shroom and zero on the fume shroom. It's very unlikely that you'll find them, but good luck for anyone searching for them. The next pillow we will be looking at is the squash pillow. Now me personally, I don't really like this pillow that much. From the front, it looks pretty good. But if you turn it to the side or look at it from the back, it doesn't really look that good. Squash being a pillow doesn't really work because squash is supposed to be 3D and this pillow is 2D so it doesn't really work that well. 
To me, it's just weird to see a flat squash in my opinion. But still, from the front, the plush looks really good. I do like that Linkson slightly changed the facial design from the actual plush itself. Usually in the set, Linkson just takes the plush's face and puts it on the pillow, but Linkson actually changed it for this pillow, which I actually really like about it. Now, for the rarity of this pillow, it's one of the more common in the set, but still, it's very rare. I would say it's slightly less common than the pea shooter but just slightly it's still extremely rare and good luck finding it for whoever wants it the next pillow in the set is jalapeno and this pillow is huge and it stands at 24 inches tall for an example that is two zombies tall so if you get two zombie plushes and stack them on top of each other that's how tall this jalapeno plush is now this is probably very easy for linkson to make the reason for this is because they already had the extra large jalapeno in production. And all they had to do is take the jalapeno off of the lily pad and boom, they called it a new plush. Which to be honest with you, it's pretty smart for Linkson to do that. I'm pretty sure that the jalapeno pillow is the biggest plush that Linkson ever made for any of their series. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. Now for the rarity of this pillow, it's kind of like the middle part of this set. It's not the rarest, but it's definitely not the most common either. There's actually one on eBay right now, and I'm contemplating buying it. So uh, yeah, I'll see if I actually do that. The one on eBay right now is the only one I've seen in the past year. So that's why I call it a middle rarity. But yeah, let's move on to the next pillow in this set. Remember earlier when I talked about the sunflower having two designs? Well, the melon pole in this set also has two designs, and the sunflower and the melon pole are the only two in these sets to have two designs. The first design is just a normal melon pole head. All they did is take off the leaf base and make the head a bit bigger than the normal plush. Still though, I really want this pillow to be honest with you. There's only been one on eBay in the past year and it sold basically the same day it went up. Which just shows you that a lot of people want this. Now for the second design, I haven't even seen one for my entirety of collecting on eBay or Macari. And all the second design is, is just the first design but with bigger eyes. I really wonder why Linkson did this cause it's really not that big of a change and it really doesn't do anything to change the pillow that much. It's strange that Linkson chose to do this, especially because the melon pole pillow was near the end of its production when they changed this, making the second design extremely rare, just like the sunflower second design. Just like the sunflower second design, I could barely even find any photos of the second design of the melon pole. It seems to have had a lot shorter production run than the first design, just like in the sunflower's case. And I wonder why Linkson only chose the melon pole and the sunflower to make a second design of. But hey, uh, we could always wonder, but we'll probably never know due to Linkson not existing as a company anymore. Now for the rarities, I'd probably rate the first design of the Melon Pole probably like one of the more common in this set. But for the second design, it's really, really rare and you'll probably never even find one. Unless if you're really, really lucky. And now we are done for the plants in this set, so let's move on to the two zombie pillows in this set. Now let's start off with the basic zombie pillow. The basic zombie pillow is actually the thing that made me discover this set at the first place. I've always wanted this pillow, but I've never been able to find it. And I did see one on eBay, but it sold at the same time as the melon pole did because they were from the same seller and they basically sold the same day that they were listed. I have to say, I've at least seen it with like five different people that own this, so it's definitely the most common in the set, but still, only five people own it, so it's still extremely rare in normal standards. As for the pillow, nothing much to say about it. It's just a zombie head, but a lot bigger. But since the zombie is the most common in the set and is probably the most well known, there's been tons of bootlegs of it made over the years. So, yeah, be careful when you're uh, buying this pillow because it's most likely a bootleg, but the bootleg's really easy to find. All it is is this it has crossed eyes and it's a really light gray, so it's pretty obvious when you're buying the bootleg and not the real plush. So yeah, you probably shouldn't be tricked by this one because of how obvious the bootleg is. So yeah, now that we're done with this pillow, let's move on to the last pillow in this set, which is, in my opinion, the rarest in the whole set. The next pillow in this set is the Hypnotize Zombie Pillow. Now I gotta say, one thing before starting this section, it was extremely hard to research for this video and I was only able to find one image on Google of it. 
I know I did see another image of it with the original links and tag on it, but like, I can't seem to find that image anymore, but I know it's out there and it exists somewhere. But yeah, there are zero documented owners of this, so the same as the fume shroom, and it just it seems to be super obscure just like the fume shroom. So I gotta say, either the fume shroom or the hypnotized zombie pillow are the rarest in the set. I have never seen this pillow for sale, and I don't think really anyone has to be honest with you. Now, there is one extremely rare bootleg of it, and it's the same thing as the normal zombie but purple, but I can't really seem to find the bootleg except for one picture of it on the screen right now. So it seems that the bootleg is just as obscure as the normal pillow itself, which just goes to show that not even a lot of bootleggers know about this because the bootlegs weren't really widely produced. So yeah, I think I could confidently say that this is the rarest pillow in this set, or maybe the fume shroom is the rarest. I really don't know. But yeah, for the pillow, it's literally just the same exact thing as the zombie pillow, but it's purple. Yeah, th 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 there's literally like no difference at all. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, have a great day.